Alright. What's happening? So today, went to the gym, worked out, and uh, I'm 32 years old, man. Feeling, I'm feeling okay, I'm feeling good. Right now, um, I'm excited because, ooh, it's dark out here. So right now I'm excited because my home, my house is supposed to be delivered tomorrow. And this is my first house that I, that, that I own and my very first house, well, this, this, although it's a manufactured home, it's a nice home and I own it cash, man. And uh, I'm excited about that. I'm really excited about that. Uh, I feel like I can drive it now. So I'm excited about that, you know. So I own the land. I bought the land back in 2017. I let the land sit a little bit. I lived on it for a little bit in an RV. And uh, man, it is dark out here. So I own the land outright. I don't owe any money on the land. And this is just not some land. Some, this is just not like a lot corner somewhere. This is actually some real nice property. I bought that back in 2017. And uh, just a few weeks ago, I paid uh, 28000 on my on my modular home. A nice modular home with that. That was really my last option. Due to the fact I live in a I live in a high rise right now. And uh, I paid twenty five hundred dollars a month on my rent. So I've been living there for a year and I looked at and I just looked at it, I'm like, you know what man? I spent thirty thousand dollars on this on this high rise, you know, for a year. And I, and once I leave, I don't get nothing out of that, nothing. So I was in between signing a loop, a new lease because uh, my lease is up in August. And if I would have signed a new lease, that's sixty thousand dollars in two years. So what's better? got Dave Ramsey saying that uh, don't buy a modular home because it doesn't increase in value but go rent whereas there is no value whatsoever in rent so you gotta you gotta start thinking for yourself you know what I'm saying although I am uh, I like Dave Ramsey because I used to before I discovered Dave Ramsey, I was the same way. Not having any debt, paying everything cash. I had that same philosophy and that came from my heart. I thought I was just the only guy that thought like that, you know? Unbeknownst to me, there's a whole movement of, uh, there, there was a whole movement of uh, no debt based society when I discovered when I first discovered who Dave Ramsey was but Dave Ramsey seemed to hate modular homes but would tell you to go out there and buy a beater that doesn't increase in value either which is a car and go rent where as not only is there no value in rent but you get nothing out of that. So 
I think it's smarter to find a nice modular home that you can pay cash for if you go out and buy the land first. That way, whenever you want to build your first, your, 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 your permanent home, your master home, you can sell the modular home and put that towards the building process, or you can even keep it and rent it out or keep it, as long as you uh, keep up the condition on it, you can keep it and rent it out and make money on it or use it as a guest home for other people or just, you know, whatever you want to do. So, uh, I am for buying a nice, decent modular home. Now, there's modular homes that's out there that are in deplorable conditions. You don't want to go that route was to buy a modular home, you want to buy one that's in very good condition. The people who I bought this modular home from, they didn't live in it full time. This was their vacation home. So it was in immaculate condition. So I paid $28,000 cash for it. Now, I went that route because the land that I own is in a rural area and it is hard to find contractors out there to do anything i mean it was hard for me to find a contractor to uh to make the pad let alone you're talking about building a house paying cash for it you know so it's easier to do things when you're living there full time and you know and, and, and doing it that way versus trying to you know wing it and hope hope you can find a contractor and you know so i say you know what i need something right now turnkey to where not only would i take control of my life and own my life and and have more freedom without rent now all the money that's coming in i will always be in the green just like when you're looking at a profit and loss statement, you don't really realize uh, how much money you're paying into expenses. You, you know, it's, especially when that expense is uh, recurring, you know. So I think I made a great decision. I'm very happy with the decision that I made. Uh, the modular home will be delivered tomorrow. I, I already have the electricity on the property, and the next thing is just getting the water. So my lease is up in August. Today is uh, basically, I think this is the last day in June. So by the time my lease is up, I will be able to uh, have my well. Uh, I will already have my home, and the next thing, the, the, the the next and final project will be to finally get the uh, septic. So I just wanted to update you guys what I'm doing. And let me say this. If you can buy raw land, you want to buy raw land, because if you want freedom in life, that's the way to go. Buy raw land, develop the land. As long as the land is not in the flood zone, it's some good property. Uh, if you can already have the water on there, that'd be great. If not, don't let that deter you, still buy it. As long as you can, you're able to get the electricity out there and uh, buy it. Buy some land. I'm not gonna lie, with me it was a struggle. I lived in my thoughts. The worst thing you can do in life is to live in your thoughts and not be able to do anything about it. I was so determined to manifest my thoughts to where I went and got a trade in being a truck driver so that I could be able to develop my land and manifest my thoughts. All I would do every day, all day, is sit in this truck or sit in the truck for three years straight and think. That thinking was my game plan. And at the end, my whole end goal was to be
able to travel the world and be able to, uh, uh, you know, travel and make money remotely. I knew my way of being able to fulfill that was developing my land so that I could be able to free myself, so I could have no rent. Now, you don't want to just have no rent and live in deplorable conditions. You want to have have you want to be able to have a nice, sustainable property with a nice, sustainable starter home, like a modular home or a manufacturing home, and be and then having to wear. You could be rent free like that versus just going to go. Oh, okay, I, I, I got. I'm living in somebody's backyard, or I go get some land and you know uh, I wing it out in a shed. You know, people do it, but I didn't want to do it that way. I wanted to at least, if I wasn't gonna do it the A plus rent, the A plus way, which is having a nice brick home build or something like I really want. I said, okay, if I'm gonna go to my, the manufactured way, it got to be a nice manufactured home that's been kept up, that's turnkey, like, I don't have to go in and make no remodel. I don't wanna do all that, you know? I'm not, I don't have the time to do stuff like that. You know, I'm black, right? I spent too much of my years stressing out over just being, you know, over being oppressed. So now I don't, I don't, you know, I don't have the time to stress over little things like that. So I went ahead and purchased the modular home. I paid cash for it, twenty-eight thousand dollars. Praise Yah! I got the bed done, the padding. I got my cupboard, my driveway. I got my electricity installed. Uh, I would have, I would officially have the well in a few weeks, and uh, then after, I'm gonna have the septic tank. I'm free, you know. Then next, my game plan is to be able to make money remotely. Now I could be able to make money off of my land via Airbnb. Uh, I'm gonna, you know, perhaps allow people to come on my land with their with their RVs. I'm also gonna. I got a cabin built on my land, and if I ever want to travel, I can always rent out my modular home. So I have three sources of income. If you ever want to travel full time, like travel the world, take some time out to uh, build your home base. That way, when you're done traveling, you can always come back home. And you can always have that American dollar following you. You know, you always want to be able to generate your income first before you just go out there and hope and pray that everything goes well. You gotta have a game plan. So I hope I have encouraged you guys. I tell you, if you buy you some land, go get you a nice modular home, at least a 2000 model and up. Something that's turnkey. Even if you have to do a little remodel, if you're versed in that area, see, I'm not versed in that area. I got all the muscles and shit in the world, but uh, I wasn't, you know, I, I don't have the time to learn right now because here's the deal. Here's the bad, here's what I realized about doing everything on your own. Either you go out there and make the money and get everything you want done right, or you don't work, don't make money, and wing it and do it wrong. You're not really saving money trying to do things on your own. Let's say I spent eight hours trying to do something on my own. I'm actually losing money because I could have spent that eight hours making umpteen amounts of money, right? Unless I'm, I'm doing something on my off time. On my off time, that's my what? Off time. I'm supposed to be off. I don't want to have to do anything on my off time. That's the time I take for, for, for myself and family. So I'm actually losing money 
trying to go and do things on my own, like building a fence and all that stuff. I'd rather take that same time is time. You're gonna spend time doing something anyway. So if it takes me eight hours to build a fence, how about I go use that eight hours to go make the money and hire somebody to do it right? Because uh, either you, either if you pay to get it done right, or you do it yourself. Either you spending money or you spending time, so you're gonna spend something. And if you do it yourself, nine times out of ten, you may not know what you're doing, and you may not do it right. You could have spent that same time with going to go get you a good trade and building your kingdom the right way. That way, you can be secure and you can feel good about what you've done. You can look at me. You can look back and say, "I got me a nice, well done, right." You know what I'm saying? It's professionally installed. I got me a professional fence. I got me a professional house built, whatever. So that's the thinking that we have to be on. It's okay to do things on your own, but I'm the type of guy to where, to where I want to spend time enjoying the quality of life. Now, I don't mind doing something myself if it take me like this, like planting a flower or something like that. I do that, you know. That don't take nothing out of my day. But me trying to install three acres of barbed wire fence or whatever for my cows, I'm not doing that shit myself, bro. I'm gonna just come out here and grind and pay somebody to do that, delegate. That way it'll be done right. I ain't gotta worry about my cows getting out because I tried to wing it, you know. And then it looks it looks better. Me coming out here, seeing America, made me realize how to do shit. It made me realize that uh, some people, seeing how people have their homes, and even in how people have their uh, their modular homes, some people settle for less. You know, some people settle for less. They People want things out of life so bad, they want to do it right then and there, and I understand. So they go homestead, they move in the middle of nowhere with no job and try to do things on their own. That's poverty. Versus saying, okay, let me go out here and commit that same time, because it's going to take you a few years to build your homestead, trying to do it yourself anyway. You might as well take that same time to go get you a nice paid, uh, a career, whether it's a trade, hopefully a trade, and if it's an education, that's cool too. Make the money and do it right. You know, so now everything that I have done, the fortune that I have amassed by getting out here and grinding, I now have freed myself and saved myself 30 years. Uh, because now I, I am uh, completely debt, debt free, and I can now go and uh, I can now go and travel the world now because I own my land. I own my nice immaculate modular home, even though it's a 2001. But I own it. I don't owe no banks. I don't owe nobody. And now I can, and it's done right. So I just wanted to uh, encourage you guys and, and tell you to, to, to buy you some land. And let, let me say this, just because I live, I live in a nice location to where I'm between Houston, Waco, uh, Dallas, I'm like in the middle. Just because I live in the outskirts, that don't mean that I have to stay there, right? Just because I live in the outskirts, I can go in the city anytime I want to. But at the end of the day, I'm bringing my, I'm bringing myself out of the city. I can go take go, on the weekend. I can be in the city like I live there. Because guess what? I don't. The only bills I'm gonna have is my miscellaneous expenses, a light bill, and insurance. So that's about it. But I don't have rent. So, uh, well, I won't have rent. I still have rent for, for another month and a half. That $2,500 plus, 
I will be putting it in my pocket or putting it on my leg. Once I get, once I got, uh, once my house get delivered, and I do some things that I want to do around the property, me and my family, we're going to go travel for about two, three months out. You want to know why? Because I ain't got to worry about working to pay the rent back home. That's all I already accounted for. Because I did the hardest part. I, I took four to five years out of my life and build up my homestead the right way. Praise y'all. Peace and love.